Good evening and welcome to News 10 on My Fox 10. Floodwaters have devastated homes along the Wabash Valley rivers this month. As they recede, residents begin to pick up the pieces of everyday life. But there could be some good news for those affected by the recent floods. As News 10's Matt Gregory explains, Congress is looking for a way to help put those lives back together. When we last took you to Old York, Illinois, it looked like this. The main source of transit, boats. Several days later, cars are back. But for residents like Karen Young, while the floodwaters are retreating, normal life isn't making such an easy comeback. It's got a lot of people in their houses that's never got it in there before. And it's, it's ruined everything in some of the people's houses. All through the weekend, Red Cross and other groups have pitched in to help clean up, which brings Karen's congressman, John Shimkus, to her home on this day. Uh, especially a house member is supposed to be the closest to the residents. And uh, we're not close if we're not here. But Shimkus isn't just in old York to hear the stories. He says he wants to find out what the federal government can do. I think when there's continuous um, flooding of certain areas, you can then make an application for, in essence, a FEMA buyout to offer the residents there a chance to relocate. Shimkus says areas like Old York that have been declared disasters by Illinois Governor Pat Quinn will be able to look to both state and federal government for assistance picking up where their lives left off. And back to Karen Young, while well, the fact that her congressman showed up in her yard makes a difference, at least for today. I think it's great that he cares. It, that, yes. he, that he cares to come down here and sees us and listens to us. A day where Washington, D.C. doesn't feel quite so far away for the people of Old York. In Old York, Illinois, with photojournalist Gary Bryan, Matt Gregory, News 10. Old York, Illinois' House Representative Brad Hallbrook also toured the damage in southern Illinois and was in the town with Congressman Shimkus. 